Welcome to another episode of Adventure Sphere. Today I'll be covering Julianne Garcia, a woman missing from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. But first, become part of our family by subscribing to our channel, stay up to date by ringing the notification bell, and share our content to help spread awareness of how we can help recover missing loved ones free of charge. You never know who may see it, how hurt their heart may be if their family is incomplete, or how you may be a hero to them. Information shared in this episode is open sourced. The places I mention are shared with my blessing, so Julian can be reunited with her family, regardless who higher powers work through. The description box has our email address if you'd like to share insight on any cold case confidentially, or know someone missing with a vehicle and would like them featured on our channel and searched for. The video of Google Earth has a measurement from a starting point theory or a known location and goes out to possible search areas. We focus on bodies of water within five miles from home, their last cell phone ping, last known location, and sentimental sites where water is deep enough to hide a vehicle. If an area has been heavily searched, we may expand the search area, but please keep in mind that accidents tend to happen closer to home. Julianne Garcia, then 35, is missing from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. She also goes by the name Julianne Lambert. Her last date of contact was Sunday, March 16th, 2008. She was driving a dark gray 1996 Chevy Lumina, Louisiana license plates KGN534. The Baton Rouge Parish Sheriff's Office can be reached at 225 289-5000. Her date of birth is May 12, 1972. The overnight lows were 55 degrees Fahrenheit and the afternoon high was 80 degrees Fahrenheit. The places I want to check first will be the Mississippi River, Ward Creek, there's water near the Pennington Health Center, Fountain Bayou, Elbow Bayou, Port Dallin Lock, City Park Lake, and there are two adjacent lakes. One is the University Lake and the Duplaner Bayou. There's boat launches. Uh, one that is in Baton Rouge that's free to use. That is the Glass Beach Boat Launch. Then there's also Floyd's Morley Marina, Broussard Landing, and the Bayside Bait, Bait Shop and Marina. If you like this episode and haven't done so already, please subscribe to our channel, give our videos a thumbs up, and share the movement with those that you influence. If you know of any other areas where I could look for Julianne, please leave them in the th comment section below. You may have a different way of thinking that could help bring her home. We really appreciate the time you've invested into watching our purpose come to life. It means the world to us, the families, and the communities we serve. 100% of donations received stay within the organization to purchase sonar equipment that will help families for years to come. Your contributions from subscribing, watching our content, liking and sharing to financial support make it possible to offer our services free of charge when they need all of us the most. To show our gratitude, I'll release a giveaway and donation video shortly. The first giveaway will occur when we reach 300 subscribers and you must be subscribed to win. Immediate donation links are in the description. Kickstarter and GoFundMe campaigns are coming soon. The video will play for just about a minute or so so you can see the entire search area. Thanks for watching. Stay safe and remember that we love you.